Hey! Who the devil are you? As far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here. But this cat! I said get out of here! Yeah. This is an outrage. I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is poor, you know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, are you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. I know you. Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, I, uh, to be clear, <laughs> he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a uh, bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is. 
but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man, I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. Well, mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The Counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting, I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the Senator won't mind waiting. Come on, pal. Okay, bud. No. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shove the hot poker up the ass. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> they won the silver tongue American betrayed. And not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <clears throat> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, <shante. laughs> uh, hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, 
You are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see. I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships, and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the boat. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it's doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. Oh boy. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No holy system underwater. Only waves, Kubo. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunter. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. Look out! Look out! There. I'm gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now, bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. The, the, the demonstration's not over yet. Any fool can explode a sitting duck. Carefully. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now, the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to, at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The mines! They're magnetized, remember? The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course. But what thing to fund? What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even Dimwit here. Hey. You really ought to work on your salesmanship. Look who rules the seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, 
this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive my... Still rolling from the road. Dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Might I suggest a fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. A very good choice, sir. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe wit? You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, We'll be done here soon. I hope so. Come on!
My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Uh -huh. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen.
keeping a gentleman waiting? I don't know. George! To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Uh, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't quinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Indeed. And what money am I paying? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. We'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen! How wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hey. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now, where can I get a cocktail? We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> to hell with it. Well, Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. 
<laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Pair of cowgirls. <laughs> Ship. Ship. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you will. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair cage. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Yes, you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe, let's get out of here. 
Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand, plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away till we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. Not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much? I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here.
how can you walk around looking like that? Good to see you back in one piece.
Hi, Arthur. Don't know what we're gonna do with you. I don't either. Fuck up. It's gonna be all right. All right then, Arthur. Okay, old man. Sure. <laughs> Just down to you. Right, Hello, yes. Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that married girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? Well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Yeah. All right, head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You were special. Thank you. I swear, half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy, Kieran, since the party for Jack? Come to think of it, no. That could be another problem. Well, he'd be a real fool to turn on us now. But I can't imagine he'd last too long on his own. Still. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. 
Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by I it. I said. You said your last. <laughs> Waiting for. Get in there and find our girl. <laughs> She thought it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. <sighs> Straight ahead! I saw go through those bushes! Ah. Well, that was a beauty, Arthur! They're heading down the hill! To the water! Oh, there they are! By the shoreline! Alright! I think that last one's the boss! Last the women! We'll take him back to Tim! Kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Don't let him get away! One's the boss. Last the women. We'll take him back to Tilly. Come on, get him, Arthur. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Don't let him get away. Stay away from me. I'm warning you. Now make sure you tie him up real good. Oh shit! Quick, get after him! Okay now. Talk to me like a damn steel! You son of a bitch! Bad day for you, mister. Gonna make these nice and tight? Alright, you bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Ah, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? 
She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. Here we go. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Now get out of here.
get curled up, up huh? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault, the darky white. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean uh, off you. Come uh, on. And I'll right. tall you, on. you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor. What you want? Maybe you can go into town and take down. The okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again? Just shut up. You shut up. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Do you want this now, then, or no? Alden, hey, you know anything about these runaways off the chain gang? Oh, hello. I heard both sides of that story. They're either horrible murderers, or they were just defending themselves. Take your pick, witch. All right, As to where well, they are. come back no if you change so. your mind. Well, I guess you don't know everything. <laughs> so long. Bye for now. Too many Federals coming through. Might have got some horse sense. Worse than worse. You always was one for gossip. Jethro Minglethorpe. Gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darkie killed a white man. Jimmy Holdacre had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. 
Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. And you call me a gossip? Anyway. How's your Tom? He's fine. Just fine. Marlene? Still with us. Good evening, mister. Good evening. <laughs> hey, we're looking for some escapees. Got posters all over town if you'd like to help. Hello. <laughs> Mr. Lawman. A couple missing. Got posters up all over town. Good evening to you. Howdy. I've lost my friend. Somebody help me. I can't seem to catch a break today. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. to do. Evening, friend. Evening, mister. What in the hell is wrong with you? Your money's always safe with us. I promise. Evening. A very good evening to you, sir. Hey, move it! Oh, hey, mister, in need of a ride? Dropped in. I've got that uh, information you asked for. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. your look. Not good at all. Yep, that's the word in town. No, how on yourself. Older. Thank you. How I even managed to stay faithful to that 
that goddamn psychopath. As long as I did, out of his mind. You should get out of here. I'm sure this attracted some attention. Okay, girl. I caught some reprobate shambling around my backyard yesterday. Went straight to the law, of course. I swear, this place is going straight to the The wind's coming in. It's really got that dust blowing. Yeah. Oh, who do you think you are? You looking for trouble, friend? Sheriff. Shit! Interesting. Mm-hmm. I'm living a right here. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's my... So you can go and get your own. I wouldn't pull him out of an early grave. No, sir. That's all. Well, let's get back to it. No, you don't. <clears throat> Get this off of me. <clears throat> the hell are you doing? Come on, girl.
some work. Move next time. You're a lunatic! God, no! Nah, nothing for me. Okay. Excuse me. Dirty look about you. Careful there. I mean, really. So help me God, you give that back. Help me, damn it. We need a lawman. It's all a big misunderstanding. Don't get confused about that. Hey, stop. That fella is to be... I tell you, that man must be stopped. Come down the law handle go this. Go your business. Move in. Go about ours.
one Ready. short step Go. from the madhouse. Sir, welcome back. Got some bills to pay, huh? Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Will you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? <clears throat> Come on, let's do this! Son of a bitch! Get out of here, now! No respect for your elders. Yep. Well, help me! Just a plain I shot. seen it myself. Folk like you. you can die now. Ah! Oh! They get you, asshole. Ah! Ah! Oh, ah! Can't take this. Go away. Just leave me alone. Stop Jesus. Right you came close. You're just close. is a misunderstanding. Calm down now, please. I mean, no offense. Keep your mouth shut about this. I presume that means yes. Hey, why aren't you showing your face? Now, I seen your face. So don't make me come looking for you. Hold it up. 
looking at that poster? They're an ugly old thing, aren't they? I heard some screams from the basement of the gunsmith earlier. I can't even imagine what he's got down there. Gee, I happen to know that anyway, villain is a farm in the swamp. We're trying to buy some long strains. Been too many federals coming through. Stop right where you are. Forget that no cow idiot. Ain't worth our time. Hello. How was in town? Pretty hot. That's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary measure. Well, right, right, until things blow over. Then I'm done with you, Black. I count the hours, White. Let's go, girl.
How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on. We need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Look, there in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Our Driscoll boys are coming! covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! I always... Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey! 
I said it's everyone accounted for. I think. That's Mrs. Adler. She's still out there. Cover me. Okay. Look what we got here. One of their fools. Mrs. Adler. And miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler. Oh, no, they don't. Ah! What the hell? What the hell? Okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taken care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Those pigs did that to him. What are you doing? To Karen? He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, 
We surely shall. Oh, lots to do this morning. I'm sorry, Abigail. Sorry, you, you all right? You doing all right, Abigail? I still can't believe that happened to Karen. Yeah, bad business, all right. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yeah, all right.
until you get this right. I can't, Daddy, please. Let him in. He's been trying for hours. He ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse. Son ain't no quitter. Do it again, boy. <laughs> My arms are like rope. Leave it, Billy, please. He ain't trying, is all. <laughs> I can't. I'm, I'm beat. Look at him. He's worn through. He will be. If he don't get up there... I'm, I'm sorry, Pop. I'm... Oh, the boy's crying. I ain't raising no goddamn sissy. Okay. Okay. Nope. Oh, they're here for your bounty. Oh, come to Mama, boy. Oh. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? No, don't. I leave ain't us, gonna Pop. fight you in front of my family. Okay? If you wanna take me, take me. Remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. Come on, man. I love you, Daddy. Enough with that. Just remember what I said, boy. Captured men, they beg or they cry or they rail against fate. That's it. Look, bitch. It's a bit like. Oh, no. Don't. Damn you. Ah, 
Got your neck broke. Premature. There he is! Like the boar said! Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh no! all your friends, ain't it? You shouldn't have done that. And now look what's happened. Dead because of you. Damn it. I knew you was being quiet. This is Rhodes. You're almost shot of me. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Small Holden. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky, not afraid. I was out in the bayou. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. That bounty hunter, you ain't whiter than white. I hope your pass catches up. Not good. Yeah, I'll just grin and force the morrow to be better. Come on, pal. Okay, there. Yep.
the federal building. It's on the knee. Federal ain't got no authority here.
Come on now, boy. <laughs> You're just messing with me now. Oh, no. Uh -huh. yeah, no. You always do that crazy thing where you try hey. to scratch your ear hey. with the hey. 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 Every single time. What are you doing? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All three of you. You sons of bitches. Oh, baby, don't cry now. Oh, we love you. Easy, will you? What the hell is that? It ain't right. <laughs> Ain't nice. <laughs> get your feelings hurt. Oh, <laughs> get your feelings hurt now. Oh, oh, get out here. Oh, get out here. Oh, Let me God. scratch your ear for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Man, did your piss stink. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 oh,
What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined? How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Mistress of fucking danger. <laughs>